السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله رب العالمين. الحمد لله الذي خلق كل شيء فقدره تقديرا. ووسع كل شيء رحمة وعلما وتدبيرا أحمده سبحانه وتعالى بجميع محامده حمدا طيبا كثيرا وأشكره على أفضاله وإنعامه كثرة وأصيلا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لم يزل ربنا عليا كبيرا لطيفا خبيرا شكورا حليما عفوا غفورا رؤوفا رحيما عزم علينا بالامس بالصيام فصمنا وعزم علينا اليوم بالفطر فافطرنا طاعه وامتثالا لامر ربنا وانقيادا وتسليما وأشهد أن نبينا وحبيبنا وسيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أقوى الناس عزما وأكثرهم تقوى وحزما وتعظيما أرسله ربه بدين الحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر. لا إله إلا الله. الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد. الحمد لله على تتابع الفضل والإحسان. الحمد لله على الإسلام. الحمد لله على نعمة الإيمان. الحمد لله على التوحيد باللسان وبالقلب وبالجوارح والحمد لله على نعمة السنة والقرآن والحمد لله كثيرا على الأمن والأمان وصلاح الشأن الحمد لله على تمام الصيام وتيسير القيام الحمد لله رب العالمين على الدوام اللهم أتم علينا النعمة بالقبول والإحسان والغفران. أهل الإيمان أكرم الناس أتقاهم لربنا سبحانه وتعالى. وأجمل الناس لباسا يتزينون به مع لباس دليل لباس التقوى. فلباس التقوى أفضل وأخير من كل شيء في هذه الحياة الدنيا. وأفضل لباس لبسناه هو لباس التقوى في شهر رمضان الكريم. فواجب علينا ألا نخلعه أبدا. ونداوم بعد هذا بعد هذا الشهر الكريم كما كنا على عزم وقوة إيماننا بالله سبحانه وتعالى وطاعتنا وتقوانا في شهر رمضان المبارك. فرب شوال هو رب رمضان ورب ذي القعدة ورب ذي الحجة ورب كل الشهور هو ربنا سبحانه وتعالى رب رمضان. فيجب ألا نفرق وألا تقل العزيمة وألا تهون وألا تهن القوة. في الطاعة والعبادة وقراءة القرآن والالتزام بالكتاب والسنة كما كنا في رمضان. نحن اليوم في عيد الفطر وهو يوم فرح وسعادة وبشر. يفرح المؤمنون فيه ويكبرون لله سبحانه وتعالى بتمام الصوم وبالفطر. 
وسيفرحون الفرح الأعظم حينما يرون ثواب ذلك عند ربنا سبحانه وتعالى حينما يرون ثواب الصوم فينادي عليهم ينادى عليهم من باب الحشر من باب الريان يوم القيامة يوم العرض على الله سبحانه وتعالى أين الصائمون؟ فيدخلون من باب الريان ادخلوا الجنة العالية كلوا واشربوا هنيئا بما أسلفتم في الأيام الخالية الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن هذا اليوم يوم عيد الفطر هو يوم عزم وحزم يوم تنعقد فيه قلوب المؤمنين عازمة جازمة على الاستمرار بجد ونشاط في تنفيذ أمر الله سبحانه وتعالى وطاعة الله وطاعة رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يوم تتعبأ فيه همم المؤمنين عزما وقوة في إرادة وإصلاح ورشد وثبات على طاعة ربنا سبحانه وتعالى وعدم الفتور عن طلب رضوان الله سبحانه وتعالى وحسن عبادته ومعاملته وهذا العزم الذي حل في القلوب عبادا لله انما هو من اثر هذا الشهر الكريم الذي يزيد فيه العبد المؤمن من طاعته وعبادته واخلاصه لله رب العالمين يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى وان تصبروا وتتقوا فان ذلك من عزم الامور فصبر الصائمون القائمون واتقوا ربهم طائعين وهذا هو العزم عزم الامور فكانوا في رمضان من اهل العزائم والهمم العاليه فيا اخوه الاسلام واصلوا المسير الى الرحمن الى ربنا تبارك وتعالى بهمه عاليه وعزيمه صادقه وثبات وصبر واطلبوا العون من رب العالمين فإياه نعبد وإياه نستعين. فالموفق من أعانه الله وقواه على الهدى والتقى. اطلبوا العون من الله بهذا الدعاء الذي أرشدنا إليه أنصح الخلق وأشرف الخلق صلى الله عليه وسلم حيث قال: إذا رأيتم الناس قد اكتنزوا الذهب والفضة فأكثروا هؤلاء الكلمة إذا رأيتم الناس يكنزون الذهب والفضة ولا ينفقونها في سبيل الله ويغترون بملذات الدنيا وينسون الآخرة فأكثروا من هذه الكلمات اللهم إني أسألك الثبات في الأمر والعزيمة على الرشد وأسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك وأسألك شكر نعمتك وحسن عبادتك وأسألك قلبا سليما ولسانا صادقا وأسألك من خير ما تعلم وأعوذ بك من شر ما تعلم وأستغفرك لما تعلم إنك أنت علام الغيوب هنيئا لكم جميعا هذا اليوم اليوم البهيج هنيئا لكم هذا اليوم المجيد هنيئا لكم يوم يوم العيد السعيد هنيئا لكم عيد الافطار وعيد شكر ربنا سبحانه وتعالى انه يوم الافراح والمسار والبهجه والانوار فلك الحمد يا ربنا على اكمال عده الصيام في شهر رمضان المبارك ولك الحمد يا ربي على ادراك رمضان حتى التمام وحضوره حتى الختام جعلنا الله سبحانه وتعالى ممن اعتق في هذا
امتداد الشهر من النار وانزل منازل الصادقين الابرار اليوم هو عيدنا اهل الاسلام يستحب فيه اظهار الفرح والسرور وادخال الفرح والسرور على الاهل والاولاد حسب اوامر الشرق الحنيف المطهر واذا احتسبنا في هذا اليوم الاجر انقلبت هذه العادات الطيبه الى عبادات فلله الحمد والمنه كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم انما الاعمال بالنيات الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله الله اكبر الله اكبر ولله الحمد اقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم All praises be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of everything, with an abundance of good praise. And I thank him for his endless bounty and blessings, morning through night. And I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, alone and without partners. He is the most forgiving and the most merciful. Yesterday, he instructed us to fast, so we fasted. And today, he instructed us to break our fast. So we broke our fast in obedience and in submission to the command of our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that our Prophet, our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the servant and last messenger of Allah, and is the most pious and resolute of people. O oh Allah, we pray upon your servant and messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and upon his family and companions and wives. And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon them abundantly. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Kabira, Walhamdulillahi Kabira. God is the greatest, God is the greatest, God is the greatest. There is no God but Allah. God is the greatest and our thanks go to Him. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Alhamdulillah for our faith. Alhamdulillah for the spread of good in our communities. Alhamdulillah for the Sunnah and for the Quran. Alhamdulillah for security, safety, and righteousness. Alhamdulillah for the completion of our fast and allowing us to stand for Qiyan. O oh Allah, we ask you to continue blessing us with your constant forgiveness and acceptance of our good deeds. Brothers and sisters, <coughs> The most honorable of people are those who understand the most gracious. And the most beautiful dress you could wear with this onset of Eid is the same dress as piety that you wore in Ramadan. So don't take it off yourselves. Right now, we're witnessing the day of Eid al-Fitr, which is a day of joy and blessings, in which the believers will find happiness with the completion of their fasting. The believers will rejoice in the greatest joy when they see the reward of their fast. And it will be called out to them afterwards on the day of judgment from the gate of Al Rayyan in Jannah. Because of their fast and righteousness in the month of Ramadan, they will be told to enter, the par enter paradise from the gate of Al Rayyan and eat and drink contentedly from that which they gave up in the old days in the previous Ramadans. SubhanAllah. May Allah allow us to be amongst those people. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamdulillah. 
Dear brothers and sisters, this day of ours is a day of determination and a day of firmness. A day in which the hearts of the believers will meet with a firm purpose to continue diligently and actively implementing the command of Allah and obeying Allah and obeying the Messenger of Allah and not to fall astray in seeking God's pleasure and good works to treat him. And this purpose that settled in the hearts of the servants of Allah is from the effect of Ramadan, which was an upbringing. On determination and firmness, our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and if you are patient and pious, then this is part of the determination that matters. Those who fasted have been patient. They obeyed their Lord, and this is the result of determination. They were in Ramadan, the people of high determination and aspirations. Brothers and sisters, continue on the path to the most merciful with high and sincere determination and steadfastness. And be patient. Ask for help from the Lord who is the most helpful. For it's He who we worship and He who we seek help from. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help with this dua by the most helpful out of God's creation, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O Allah, I ask you for steadfastness in matters of determination on the righteous path. And I ask you for your mercy and your forgiveness. And I ask you to thank you for your grace and good worship. And I ask you for a pure heart and a truthful tongue. And I ask you for the best of what you know. And I seek refuge in you, refuge in you from the evil of what you know. And I ask for forgiveness for what you know. For you are the knower of the unseen. Oklahoma and me. Fellow brothers and sisters, congratulations on this joyful day. Congratulations on this glorious day. Congratulations on this happy day of me. And congratulations for making it this far. All thanks and glory be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to observe Ramadan until its completion and to be present until its conclusion. May Allah make us among those who are free from the fire and among the true believers and the righteous. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. العيد مناسبة طيبة وفرصة عظيمة لتصفية القلوب وإزالة الشوائب عن النفوس وتنقية الخواطر مما علق بها من بغضاء أو شحناء. فلنقدم هذه الفرصة الطيبة ولنجدد المحبة ولتحل المسامحة والعفو محل العتب والهجران من جمع جميع الناس مع الأقارب والاستطاع والجيران يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وما زاد الله عبدا بعفو إلا عزا رواه الإمام مسلم وقوله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يحل لمسلم أن يأجر أخاه فوق ثلاثة يلتقيان فيعبد هذا ويعبد هذا وخيرهما الذي يبدأ بالسلام وفي رواية من أبي داود فمن هجر فوق ثلاثة فمات دخل النار صححه الإمام الحنبلي ونستمع إلى هذا الحديث الذي يعني كما يقال تقشعر منه الجلود قال صلى الله عليه وسلم في الحديث الذي رواه أبو داود وصححه الإمام الألباني من هجر أخاه سنة من هجر أخاه سنة فهو كسفك دم فاتقوا الله معاشر المسلمين وسارعوا إلى إصلاح ذات بينكم وكونوا عبادا صالحين راجينا 
اولا واخيرا لمرضاه الله سبحانه وتعالى وكونوا عبادا صالحين لانفسكم لانفسكم وللمجتمع كله وكونوا عونا لانفسكم واخوانكم على الشيطان ولا تكونوا عونا للشيطان على انفسكم واخوانكم ولا تنسوا فقراءكم فهم اخوانكم ادخلوا البهجه والسرور عليهم واتوهم من مال الله الذي اتاكم فادخال السرور قربه من القربات وعمل صالح نتقرب به الى ربنا سبحانه وتعالى واكرر ايضا يعني الشكر الجزيل لكل الذين حضروا معنا صلاة التراويح يعني الحمد لله بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى حتى آخر ليلة من ليالي رمضان كان المسجد مليان ما شاء الله وكل هذا بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى لأن المساجد هي بيوت الله المساجد هي بيوت الله وخير مكان نتقرب فيه إلى ربنا ونتجمع فيه على رضوان الله هي بيوت الله سبحانه وتعالى ونسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يتقبل منا ومنكم الصيام والقيام والطاعات وقراءة القرآن وأن يتقبل من الأخوة الأفاضل الكرام الذين اعتكفوا في هذا المسجد أن يتقبل منهم صالح أعمالهم ونسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يعد علينا شهر رمضان أعواما عديدة أزمنة مديدة ولا تحرموا أنفسكم من الاستمرار في حضور الصلوات في المساجد فصلاة الرجل في بيته أو في المسجد تفضل عن صلاته في بيته ب 27 درجة يعني تخيل لو الواحد صلى الظهر في بيته ولو صلى في المسجد لو صلى في المسجد كأنه صلاها في البيت 27 مرة يعني لما يصلي في المسجد صلاة الظهر العصر المغرب العشاء الفجر كأنه صلى هذه الفريضة في بيته 27 مرة وفضل الله ليس له حدود ف 27 مرة أو 27 درجة ليس له حساب عند ربنا سبحانه وتعالى يعني احنا ما نستطيعش نحاسب أو نحسب هذه الدرجات وهذا الثواب لأن فضل الله عظيم وليس له حدود. تهنئة لكم من الأخوة الحضور ومن الأخوة القائمين على هذا المسجد ومن الأخوة الأصدقاء والأحباب. تهنئة لكم بهذا العيد المبارك السعيد وأسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يتم عليكم فرحتكم وأن يديم عليكم السعادة والهناء والفرح والسرور. وكل عام وانتم بخير وعيد مبارك عليكم جميعا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته. الله اكبر 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 كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكره واصيلا. لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وفي الآخرين وفي الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وفي الآخرين وفي الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين عيدكم مبارك عيدكم سعيد تقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأعمال May this truly be a blessed occasion a day of celebration and joy upon all of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us our acts of worship. May He accept from us our Ramadan. Say Ameen. Ameen. May He accept our Salah. May He accept our Siyam, our fast. May He accept our Dua, our Qiyam, 
our ruku'a, our sujood. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of the faizin, those who have succeeded in this month. May we all receive all of the bounties and blessings and reward of the month of Ramadan. And may Allah grant us many, many, many more Ramadans to come. Brothers and sisters, it is truly an honor, wallahi, truly an honor to be in this sacred space, to be in the house of Allah on a Monday morning, 10 a.m. with the masjid packed to the brim. All of us are here for what cause? You ask yourself, why am I here right now? You're here to celebrate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're here to show your devotion to Allah. Your love of his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Your love of following in the footsteps of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why you're functionally here. Because of your commitment to la ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah. May Allah beautify our testimony of faith firmly in our hearts. May we always love this deen. And may we find no desire in any alternative. May Islam be beautified in our hearts always. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to live upon Islam, die upon Islam, and be resurrected with the Muslims, those who have proverbially surrendered to Allah, from Sayyiduna Adam to Sayyiduna wa Mawlana Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, we have to understand what it is we're actually celebrating today. What we are celebrating, our joy, our happiness, is rooted in our devotion to Allah. That's what we're celebrating. We're celebrating our surrender to Allah. We're celebrating our ubudiyah, our servanthood, that we are all servants of Allah. That's what we're celebrating. People celebrate for all sorts of purposes. They have Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Blue Day, Red Day, Green Day, whatever day. Our days of celebration of, is because of our commitment to Allah. 30 days, what did we do? Ask yourself, for 30 days, you fasted with complete devotion, without hesitation. You fulfilled the command of Allah. Allah said, Sumu. Fast, and we said, Sami'na wa ata'ana, we hear and we obey. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, pray, we pray. Allah said, read the Quran, we read, we read the Quran to the best of our ability. Allah said, make dua, we made dua. Allah said, give charity, we gave charity. Allah said, give zakat, we gave zakat. That's our obedience, and that is our moment of celebration. That's why the Prophet says, this song, imi farhatan. For the one who fasts, there are two moments of genuine bliss and joy. Farhatun inda fitrihi wa farhatun inda liqa'i rabbi. There is the joy when you conclude, when you break your fast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa litukh bilun idda. So that you completely apportion time. Alhamdulillah, we started Ramadan and we ended Ramadan. May Allah accept the fullness of this act of worship. And we find today, the joy that you're experiencing is not just because you're wearing fresh new clothing, it's not just that we're together, which is reasons to experience joy, but it's because of the beauty of faith. And I want us all to embrace this moment of happiness because this moment of happiness, the quality of happiness we're experiencing only occurs in the auspices of the divine, nowhere else. No video game, no movie, no club, no indulgence, no erotic behavior, none of those things out there, no drugs, no alcohol, no consumption of any type that people pursue for a semblance of happiness will ever replace the joy that is experienced when you're in surrender to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the sweetness of faith. Halawat al iman, the sweetness of faith. And as the ulama say, man dhaqa araf wa man araf aqtarat. The one who tastes, the one who tasted, knows. When you taste the sweetness of this, wallahi, nothing will ever replace it. 
And I want us to appreciate this. And they say, the one who tastes knows, and the one who knows takes with both hands, takes as much as they can. Because, brothers and sisters, there is a threat. And you know what that threat is? The shaitan. He's, he's unlocked now. He's free to roam around. And guess what the number one objective of the shaitan is right now? Today, on the day of Eid, he sees us all happy. He sees us all celebrating Islam and belief and ibadah. And we're so happy to be Muslim. Who's not happy to be a Muslim right now? Everyone's happy to be a Muslim. Can I ask you a question? Anyone regret fasting Ramadan? No one regrets it. Do you all feel blessed and honored to have fasted? Absolutely. Anyone regret praying in Ramadan? The only regret is that you didn't pray more, correct? Anyone regret not giving, giving charity? The only regret is I didn't give more. That's the beauty of faith. Let me ask you a question. When you, sit on, when you go to a club, or you sit smoking hookah somewhere, or you drink something, or you watch filth on the internet at night, do you wake up or get out of that regretful or not? Always regretful. Always feeling sick to your stomach. Always feeling disgusted about yourself. This is a powerful sign from Allah. Now, what is the objective of the shaitan today? His sole objective is so that all of us despair in the mercy of Allah. The shaitan is going to make us try to slip up hard. He's going to try to make us slip up, commit a sin, a minor one or a major. And then the effective result of that is to say, look at me, I'm worthless. I can never do this Islam stuff well. Look, I just, Ramadan, 30 days. And then Ramadan ends, and look at the sin that I commit. Look at my weaknesses. So you write yourself off, and you enter into despair. That is what Allah dislikes categorically to see in His servants. Allah wants to see hopefulness, happiness. Allah wants to see us always loving to turn to Him. Allah is always merciful bi fadlillahi ta'ala. Never wants us to despair. So we have to be present, and we have to have the presence of mind today to say, I have to protect myself from the whispers of the shaitan to do evil, to turn away from the masjid. Like I said on the 27th night, the house of Allah is always open. 100% of the year, the house of Allah is open. Five prayers in the masjid, always accessible. The light and the mercy and the tranquility and the happiness that descends on this sacred space is throughout the year, not only Ramadan. When you exit Ramadan, and then you deprive yourself of coming to the masjid for no other reason than bad habits, then you really harmed yourself unnecessarily. You ask yourself, hold on, I really felt so happy in the masjid. Why don't I go anymore? Why do I deprive my kids from coming to the masjid every day and every, every week? Why? Why do you not come? Ask yourself that question. I'm not asking this to shame. I'm asking this to ask genuinely. If there's something beautiful and it creates so much happiness, why am I not there all the time? You see how much beauty happens when we come together? The joy of just being shoulder to shoulder with our brothers and sisters. You do know we can do this all the time. Is that clear to everyone? We can literally come like this all the time and feel so much pleasure in having the warmth of brotherhood and sisterhood. The beauty of community. Because when the believers come together, and we all hold on to the rope of Allah together in a collective, beauty descends in immeasurable ways. There's a reason why. Reward is multiplied by 27 when you pray in the masjid because Allah is showing us the endless benefits and virtues about coming together as a community. Trust me, there's plenty of tantalizing things out there. Plenty of fitan, ideas, ideologies, pursuits, careers, careerism, wants, desires, indulgences, feelings, hurt, self-absorption, ego. It's all out there trying to pull at us, come to me, come to me. Pulling us away from the house of Allah, pulling us away from salah. And that is not in our best interest. Our true welfare is the extent to which throughout the year and throughout our lifetime, we can always be in loving surrender. 
we can be attached to the house of Allah. That's why the Sa'im, the one who fasts, has two moments of happiness. Farhatun inda fitri wa farhatun inda liqa'i rabbi. The happiness that happens when you break your fast today, Alhamdulillah, may Allah beautify us always with this divine happiness. And then the happiness that you receive when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is a happiness that is the result of the following. Pay very close attention, brothers and sisters. The happiness when you meet Allah is a result of a lifetime of devotion, not just 30 days. A lifetime of loving surrender. A lifetime of celebrating the fast and celebrating salah, celebrating dua. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to close. But I'm going to close with something that I attended yesterday. Yesterday at 11 a.m., I attended a janazah. I know, day of Eid, why are you talking about a janazah? Bear with me. I attended one of the most beautiful janazahs I've ever attended in my life. This is a man who was a humble man, who lived in an area in northern New Jersey for the past 40 years. And he served one of the local masajid in northern New Jersey. A very unassuming man was there from the first day that the masjid was purchased. Back then, we didn't build masajid, we purchased masajid. Now, alhamdulillah, we are in the era of building masajid. May Allah bless us with more and more masajid. But when I was in the janazah yesterday, and this is, he is someone that we grew up with, and I was listening to the testimonials of so many community members about him. His name was Abu Galal, may Allah have mercy on him. And they were saying, all of them, by consensus, he's someone who loved the masjid so much. From day one, he was serving in the masjid. Never once did he want a post. Never once did he want to be on the board. Never once did he want to have any authority. Never once did he want recognition. Never once did he pursue or seek recognition. He just wanted to serve with humility. And anything he could do to serve the masjid, something was broken, he would be the one, the one to, to run and fix it. Go to Home Depot with his own pocket and buy and fix and serve and help. He was a quiet man, they would say. A man of few words. He didn't ever talk. And, you know, uh, senselessly. No gossip, no chatter, no backbiting. None of that nonsense. Always present to serve with a big, beautiful smile. He created such warmth in his presence. And then his boys, his two older boys who were in their forties, they stood up. And they said, subhanAllah, something that really touched me very deeply. They said, you know, you guys know my father in the masjid, but you don't know my father in the home. And they all said, they both said, our mother, has been suffering with schizophrenia and bipolar since we were kids. But my father served us as not just a mother, a father, but a mother as well. And he never allowed them to institutionalize my mother. And then our younger brother also developed bipolar and schizophrenia. And he would not let them institutionalize my little brother. So he took care of my little brother as well. And he took care of us and he did everything to serve us. And he never let us lie or cheat. And wallahi, he says, he never heard him lie once, cheat once, he never complained once. And then, what was even more beautiful was the ending of his life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala two months ago afflicted him with cancer. Terminal, within two months, cleansed, beautified, purified. And his sons are saying he never complained once. And then the last odd night of Ramadan, Allah took his soul. And I said, Allahu Akbar, what a beautiful life lived. This man lived a beautiful life. You don't think when he needs Allah, he's going to be happy? Wallahi, bi idnillah, my good opinion is that he will be the happiest. And in that moment, I asked myself, what kind of situation am I going to be in when I meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Brothers and sisters, that's why I'm saying, I told his sons yesterday in the janazah, at the graveyard, I told him, I've never been so happy in a janazah like I am today. I am happy for your father. I understand the pain of losing a parent is hard. May Allah protect our loved ones. But brothers and sisters, when you see something so beautiful like that, you can't help but be happy for your loved ones, to be happy for him. 
I say to you, the best thing that you can do is try to be like your father. Brothers and sisters, in closing, be like Amr Galaf. Live a beautiful life of service. Attach your heart to the house of Allah. Be humble. Stop obsessing over your feelings and your wants and your egos. Don't make your life pursuits about you. Don't. I know the modern culture makes us obsess about ourselves. We are our own worst enemies. Don't make everything about you and what you deserve and what you think you want and what you should have. The more we come into these spaces of our massage in our homes with humility, with loving surrender to Allah, seeking another, nothing other than the pleasure of Allah, serving His creation, the amount of beauty and happiness that will ensue is unparalleled. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us truly beautiful, loving servants of His. Amen. True followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People who have the akhlaq of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The character of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The behavior of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and allow us to live a long life of beautiful devotion, beautiful devotion, beautiful surrender, beautiful worship. May we always love salah. May we always love siyah. May we always love the, the, the dua and qiyah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us many, many, many more Ramadans to come. Allahumma balirna Ramadan. Amen. Ya Rabbi, bring us to Ramadan. Accept our previous Ramadan and bring us to the next Ramadan. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa barakatuh. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا ومن يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما. Brothers and sisters, you're you're ready to go. إن شاء الله. I'm going to let you go. Please, my from my heart to yours. The Prophet says, the day of Eid is a day of ak wa shurb wa dhik. It's a day of eating and drinking, which is a representation of have a great time, enjoy yourselves, spend beautiful time with your family. But the last one, it's a day of remembrance. You don't forget about Allah on the day of Eid. You only remember Him more and you thank Him more. Spread as much happiness and joy as you can. From the adab of the day of Eid is you call all your loved ones. Forgive all your brothers and sisters. All of the petty nonsense, please pay attention to me. All of the petty nonsense that exists between you and a family member, you and a community member, end here right now. Experience nothing but deep love for your brothers and sisters. Get out of your head and your nefs. Don't think that everyone's out to get you. Everyone loves you. Don't be that one family member that everyone thinks that no one loves me. No, you love everyone because everyone loves you. Heal each other by hugs, by kisses, by warmth, by smiles, by giving gifts. Give of yourself lovingly. Forgo your ego and you make the first step. Don't wait for someone to come to you. Even if they are, they've never called you once and they will never call you once, you call them every single day. You be that force of beauty and love. Be that force of prophetic, prophetic mercy. You be that force, inshallah. That's what Eid is about. Shower your children with joy and happiness and gifts as much as you can. Let them see an unparalleled joy. Right? An unparalleled joy today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all with happiness, long lives, in loving surrender. May we never experience sadness or depression or anxiety. May we always find joy in the beauty of Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May allow, Allah allow us to live a life full of joy. And may He allow us to have a death full of joy. And may we have a journey in the afterlife that is full of joy and happiness. Eidukum Mubarak wa Sa'id. I truly love you all for the sake of Allah. I pray Allah only increases our bond of mahabbah. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.